Hello everyone, welcome to PS 21A, Introduction to American Politics. I'm Professor Michael Tesler. This is my living room. This is where we are going to be having all of our sweet lectures this quarter. Um, the purpose of this first introductory discussion is just to give you a lay of the land, overview of the course. We're gonna run through the syllabus and then hopefully you'll decide whether you like this course or not. Um, if you don't like the way that I roll, if you don't like the quarantine setup, um, I do believe we will be back in uh, business in person in the fall, so you will not hurt my feelings at all if you decide this is not your jam. But for those of you who are staying with, let's run through this uh, syllabus run through what we're going to be up to uh, this quarter, start with the overview of the course, and I am not going to pretend this is a normal course. Hopefully this is the last quarter where we have to go on this way, but so long as we are going on this way, I'm not going to pretend this is normal. We're all living through terrible times, and this course is not going to pretend otherwise. Um, in an effort to accommodate the profound disruption you are now experiencing from the coronavirus pandemic, the class is structured differently from prior versions I've taught. I typically teach this course every year. Um, and when I teach the course in the past, it's usually centered around uh, key course concepts, things like collective action, um, which are often hard for you all to wrap your head around and I think would probably be harder in this environment. So instead, um, this class will be more focused on topics than concepts. Topics to be covered include the American Constitution, federalism, civil rights, the courts, the presidency, Congress, political parties, elections, public opinion, and the media. There are going to be fewer readings than usual too, though there are more videos and these videos are important in that they will show up on your midterm and final. Also very important to know there are no discussion sections for this class. I'll say more on that in a second. But one of the things I found during the pandemic and during remote instruction is that discussion sections are just too much of a logistical nightmare for you all. And you all are usually very happy not to have them. So I am happy to oblige. The course is designed to make you think about the institutions of our government and the consequences both intended and unintended of these institutions on the political behavior of citizens, legislatures, and other political leaders and activists. So let's get to the important part, the structure of the course, how everything is going to break down um, in this unusual environment. So every week is gonna have its own page on Canvas. Each week's Canvas page will include video lecture, so I will record a video lecture or multiple video lectures for that week. I will also post the uh, PowerPoint slides along with the video lectures. There are gonna be light readings. As I mentioned, I've cut the readings down quite a bit. In some weeks, we'll also include video, which are important for you all to watch closely. The course notably is entirely asynchronistic. This is done to accommodate you all. I will post the lecture for each week on Sunday or Monday. And you can watch these lectures whenever you want. However, um, this is the third quarter now that I have taught uh, in this style. And I strongly recommend that you keep up with the weekly schedule rather than trying to cram everything in before the midterm or the final. That usually turns out to be a disaster. So for your own sanity, I think it's best to probably keep up with the weekly schedule, even though technically you can go however you want at whatever pace you want. I will email you all on Monday at the beginning of each week with updates. Look for my updates. Oftentimes I'll use these updates too to highlight some events that are going on in the news and how they relate back to the course. Although um, we're currently in a time of uh, 
things are a little more quiet than they were during the Trump era. So during the Trump era, like regardless of what class I would take, there was a zillion things in the news each week that I could highlight um, that played into important course concepts. And that may be less so this time, but um, I'm sure there will be events that evoke key concepts and topics from the course. All right. So unlike prior versions of the course, which use this textbook called Logic of American Politics, there is not a textbook for you to purchase this course. We will be relying instead on this cool open source textbook, which is free for you all and can be found uh, on the syllabus at this link. There's also links and PDFs on the front page of the Canvas website. Um, all other required readings will be posted to the Canvas website for this course. All right, so let's get to how TAs will work. Um, later on in this week, I'll send out an email giving you, uh, letting you know who your assigned TA is and what his or her um, office hours will be, how you can get in contact with them, etc. So as I mentioned, there are no weekly discussion sections for this course. However, you will all have an assigned TA. That TA will be the person who will grade your assignments and hold weekly office hours. Please email your TA with specific questions about course context. So this is an important thing that I wanted to try to preempt at the beginning of the class. If anybody knows me, if taken a class with me or just generally knows my vibe, I'm horrible with emails. I'm like the worst person to begin with with emails. But then you take this class, which is a ridiculous size in terms of 400 students, and it's simply impossible to keep up with direct questions from everyone. That doesn't mean that you should avoid contacting me if you have something really pressing that you need to contact me about. But um, please reach out to your assigned TA instead with questions about course concepts. All right, so the course requirements, it's a pretty easy course. I've made it that way to accommodate you all. The course only has a midterm and a final. The grades are distributed 50-50. 50% midterm, 50% final should be easy. Um, it'll be a take-home midterm, take-home final. You'll have choice about what to write on. There'll be a lot more on this later on in the course. But what I can tell you now at the beginning is you want to look for places. This just doesn't just go for my class. It goes for all classes that you take. The best strategy when you're prepping for midterms and finals. Where is the overlap between the readings, the lectures, and in this class also, which has videos in a lot of the weeks, where do they overlap? And that's usually where you want to focus most, on places where the videos and the readings and the lectures all overlap. All right, extra credit. I will offer more extra credit opportunities than usual. You will be able to complete two short extra credit assignments worth up to 3% of your total grade. There'll be much more on this later on in the quarter. All right, important is the idea of care and understanding this quarter. It's an awful time. We're all experiencing a major trauma, though I do have hope that by the end of this quarter, um, things are going to look a lot different than they look right now, um, thanks to the vaccines, which you all will be eligible for on April 15th. Um, we do not want to add to your stress during this tough time, so we will practice an ethic of care and understanding this quarter. If extensions are needed, we're going to grant them. If other accommodations are needed, we will accommodate you. Importantly, please don't take advantage of our leniency. And what I found is, is that the, um, in the prior courses I've taught this way, uh, you all are pretty cool about not taking advantage of the leniency. So please don't take advantage of the leniency, but please don't be afraid to contact me or your TA if you're generally struggling. All right, cheating and copyright violations. These are the two things we will not tolerate, are cheating and copyright violations. So your take-home tests are open book, open notes, but they must be done by you and you alone. We will run exams through anti-plagiarism software. Please don't make us bust you. It just sucks for everybody. 
Um, and then importantly about the copyright material, you may not repost any of the video lectures without my permission. The university is pretty strict on this, I think, with all that's going on. The university doesn't want to see their professor saying crazy stuff posted on YouTube. Although all my classes, this one is surely the blandest, where you have the least opportunity for me to cra say crazy stuff. But even if I did say crazy stuff, the university policy, which is strict on this point, is as follows. Course material copyright regarding copyrights, faculty retain full ownership of all course materials, even when campus resources are used to post content online. is a violation of the student code of conduct to distribute course material without the express consent of the instructor. See this link for more. All right, with that said, here is how the course is going to break down. The first week, obviously, we're going to start with the country's founding and the Constitution. Um, you'll have this AMGov2E that is your open source textbook, so chapter two on that. Week two, we'll be getting into federalism. Federalism is the division of power between the national or federal government in Washington, D.C. and local and state governments. The video that you're going to have focuses on the battle between Southern governments um, during the Civil Rights Movement and the federal government to try to enforce civil rights. Federalism, one of the biggest issues, often comes down to issues of race and ethnicity. If you're following local news right now, one of the things that you will see is, is that the federal government in Washington, D.C., the House of Representatives, passing uh, their first bill, H.R. 1, which is a huge expansion of voting rights to try to make access to voting easier. Meanwhile, at the state level, you have states like Georgia passing very restrictive laws trying to limit access to voting, particularly in uh, predominantly African-American communities. And this has been the story of this country in many ways. Expansion of rights, particularly minority rights, by the federal government met with profound resistance, particularly in, uh, in the states and in the southern states. So your video here, Eyes on the Prize, which is a phenomenal uh, documentary about the civil rights movement, will focus on fighting back, that fighting back, the resistance, that is southern resistance to the expansion of uh, equal rights for African Americans. Um, that will transition naturally into week three, our discussion of civil rights and the efforts politically to expand rights um, for all the peeps. We'll watch another video here, Eyes on the Prize, No Easy Walk, that um, uh, picks up on the efforts to try to get the Civil Rights Act of 1964 passed. Week four, we will deal with the courts. Week four, we'll have guest lectures, guest video lectures by uh, Professor Mary McThomas, who teaches classes on constitutional law, on civil rights, on feminist law um, in UCI. They'll be from this living room also because we are also married on top of that. And then you'll have a, um, a video on the politics of Supreme Court nominations. Week five is our midterm. It'll be sent out the morning of April 26th and due back one week later before midnight on Monday, May 3rd. Uh, for your midterm week, I'm not going to burden you with other material. You'll only have to deal with the midterm. When um, we come back from the midterm, then we're dealing with the stuff that I uh, research and I teach most heavily on, first on public opinion, and then campaigns and elections, and media. All of these are um, separate courses that you can take in and of itself. One of the things that's interesting about this class is that every topic is basically uh, upper division class that you can take. So you can take an elections course with me or Professor Wattenberg. I teach public opinion courses um, and racial attitudes courses every year. Um, 
media politics is taught by Professor Gavin Phoenix. Upper division political parties in Congress are taught by um, Professor Daniel Thompson. And week 10 presidency, uh, there's an upper division course that's extremely popular taught by Professor Matt Beckman. We will hopefully be able to Beckman every single time I teach this class. Uh, he gives his guest lecture on the presidency. Hopefully we can get Beckman to come in and uh, give us a video lecture as well because everybody loves Beckman. All right, that is the course. I think it's going to be straightforward. I think it's going to be pretty easy. Um, but if for whatever reason you are not vibing on this, you will not hurt my feelings, but please do drop as quickly as you can in the um, number of students are trying to get into this course. All right, that is it. Next time you will hear from me will be in our first real lecture. That lecture will be on um, the founding and on the American Constitution. I will see you then. Bye-bye, everyone.